Welcome to Free Speech Nation. We've all obviously been disturbed by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, but there have been some unexpected developments. On Monday, it was reported that CompareTheMarket.com had withdrawn those famous adverts featuring the animated meerkats Alexander and Sergei. To be honest, this doesn't go far enough. I want to see those meerkats eating off a tin plate in a cell in The Hague. <laughs> a spokesperson for the company said, the Compare the Market meerkats are fictional characters. They have no association with Russia and the current situation. Well, I'm glad they clarified that, because I was under the impression that the advertisers had simply found some aristocratic Russian meerkats who were capable of human speech and spent their time setting up meerkat comparison websites. <laughs> Another dream shattered. Not to be outdone, it was reported that, the American, uh, that American restaurant owners were pouring their stocks of Smirnoff vodka down the drain. I mean, hadn't they already, already paid for this? It seems like a really odd way to punish Smirnoff. Also, Smirnoff, by the way, is owned by a British company, Diageo. <laughs> this is why you always need to do your research before virtue signalling. And that's not all. Bars in London have stopped serving white Russian cocktails. The co-op and Morrison's have taken Russian vodka off the shelves. Meanwhile, the University of Milan said that it was dropping Dostoevsky from the literature course. <laughs> because, of course, an author born in 1821 is bound to be in some way responsible for Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Actually, the university eventually backtracked. I mean, maybe, maybe someone pointed out to them that banning Dostoevsky's books isn't a great look, given that he had been sentenced to four years in a prison camp for belonging to a group that discussed banned books. Again, a little research, guys. That's all I'm saying. And in other news, scientists have decided that gypsy moths are racist and will therefore change the name to spongy moths. <laughs> I mean, is the phrase gypsy moth really offensive? I don't think anyone thinks that moths are in any way connected to Romany people, unless Romany people are in the habit of headbutting windows whenever someone turns a light on, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure they're not. Anyway, spongy moth. I mean, it just it strikes me as very undignified. Has anyone consulted the moths on this? No. Pure speciesism. That's what it is. Another story now. This is a, a mother who's getting sick and tired of her baby being compared to a fascist just because she named him Oswald. <laughs> People are, of course, assuming she named him after Oswald Mosley, who was leader of the British fascists in the 1930s. But you, you do need to be careful when naming children. I was saying this only the other day to my cousin Adolf, and he totally agreed. <laughs> and a university in Scotland has slapped a trigger warning on Ernest Hemingway's novel The Old Man and the Sea, because it contains... I'm not making this up. It contains scenes of graphic fishing. Well... <laughs> You can see why that would be traumatic, although this was actually at the University of the Highlands and Islands in Scotland, which is an area dependent on the fishing industry for its economy. And maybe that's why they found it so upsetting. It just reminds them of work. And finally, we have this school in Derby. They installed a new inclusion staircase. That's what it looks like there with the rainbow flags. And it isn't really clear how the previous staircase wasn't inclusive, but, you know, at least they've sorted the problem out now. I'm sure disabled students are looking at that and thinking, well, it's nice to be included, but we're still going to have to take the lift. <laughs> of course, this is very much aimed at the LGBT community, hence the pride colours, because, you see, up until now, gay people haven't been able to go upstairs. <laughs> you know, we're, we're very much like Daleks in that respect. But thanks to the invention of the inclusion staircase, I won't have to keep living in bungalows. <laughs>